we've got Maria Blasucci, team captain of the Pistol Shrimps here. Maria, how did you feel about your play out on the wood? I felt so good out there. I mean, listen, uh, No New Friends is a tough team. They're a skilled team. Uh, but I thought we played with an intensity that we haven't played with um, before, actually. Uh, we ran some cool plays. Uh, we ran some hard D. Uh, we brought it. We killed it. And, you know, we nailed it through and through. Maria, I noticed you must have had your license renewed because you were really driving the lane tonight. Thank you so much. Uh, funny you should say that. I am getting my license renewed on June 4th. Uh, where I have an appointment at the DMV. I'm getting mine renewed May 10th. There we go. Pistol Shrimps basketball. Maria, as team captain, do you find there's ever a conflict of interest in playing on the court and commanding the troops? I don't think so. I think being on the court, you command your own team. And when it comes to the troops, it's, you know, people do their own rules, fight by their own ways. And it just, you know, it comes out even in the end. Did you think tonight was ever dirty at times, or was that just spirited good fun on the court? Spirited good fun. I think it can get dirty, but tonight it was all fun, all fun and games, and, you know, we were just happy to be out there. Maria, oh. what's your opinion on Zane leaving no direction? Uh, I think it's, you know, he, he worked hard out there. He played really hard in, in one direction, and, you know, he just, you know, he needed to let his team go, do something new, and, you know, he's, he's got to drive, drive the ball on his own. Last question, Maria. What do you think of my clipboard? Oh, it's good. It's good. Slam. Slam dunk. <laughs> Maria Blasucci, <laughs> team captain for the Pistol Shrimps. Call the attractive police because Maria Blasucci is on the prowl. Thanks, guys. I had a good game out there. Uh, played my heart out. And, you know, next, next week we're going to go get them. Great time. Thanks for your comments, Maria. It's Maria Blasucci. Maria, let's talk about the victory out on the field tonight. Your thoughts. We just played really hard out there. Um, you know, the other team was giving it their all. Um, you know, next game we're going to do the same thing, dribble all the way, take it down, uh, make the baskets count, and not take no for an answer. Maria, I see that you are uh, hydrating yourself with some aqua hydrate. Water for people. Aqu aqua hydrate, yeah, it's just like uh, swoosh, baby. Now... Not to call you out on the carpet, but this is about the third time we've done an interview, and I can't help but think you're speaking in sports platitudes and not really like a human would talk. Not like me, a commentator. Yeah, I don't know. Just every time I get on the mic, I just bring the ball down, um, uh, try to get it in the net, um, make the buckets count, and drive it down the lane. Wow. Team Captain Blasucci coming up to the bench here to tell us about what an amazing game you had tonight. Oh man, we were out there, we were doing our best, we were going as hard as we could and the ball just kept dribbling, you know. Uh, we tried and, you know, the basket was there and we went for it. It shows. Now you're covered with sweat like a real ball player. Uh, what do you think about the season? It ends here tonight, but you've got an exposition match on uh, Friday, right? Yeah, uh, I am sweaty, that's for sure, because I played my heart out there on Friday. Uh, come on down to um, Cal State Los Angeles, watch the Pistol Shrimps play, a team that's made up of all ex-NBA players. Nick Young is going to be there. Mm, uh, $10 to get Boys. in. Uh, parking is, I think, pretty cool. And um, it's gonna be it's gonna be a great time, and uh, I'm just getting ready to ball. Captain Blasucci, before you go, what are your prospects for next season? Uh, we're just gonna keep going hard out there. You know, the ball the ball doesn't leave us. It's on our head always, and uh, you know, our you know we're ready to get it done. All right, well, you played a hell of a game and a hell of a season. Good work out there. You yeah. led the charge. All right, Maria Blasucci, team captain, team organizer, team mom. That's right. Mother of 18. Here Up comes team captain Maria, Maria Blasucci with some words for us. Now, if I'm reading the scoreboard right, you guys tied 0-0. Zero to zero. That sounds like a pretty good game to me. It was a fun game, I'll tell you that much. I mean, the score was neck and neck, as you can see the whole time, but we kept the ball on the ground, we kept our eyes on the prize, and, you know, we're ready to hit them at it next, next year. Anyone give you any trouble out there on the field? A couple guys. They were giving me trouble because I was a woman, and... Because I didn't look all cool, but at the end, we're all just playing the game. That's right, Maria. What are your prospects for next season? Just to keep my feet on the court, you know, keep dribbling hard and try not to travel. Well, well done. We'd like to thank you for a wonderful season of Pistol Shrimps Ball. You got it, man. Uh, uh, keep your head up and stay in the game. You got it. That's Maria Blasucci, team captain. 
Maria Blasucci is here from a long absence. Maria, how, how do you feel about how you did tonight in the game? It was such a great game out there. I mean, everyone was just trying their best. Next time we come out here, we're definitely going to try just as hard and uh, – uh, throw the ball down the court, make some baskets, have some good looks, and have fun with it as we always do. Maria, I saw you scored a point tonight or two or some more than that. Um, how'd that feel to score a point? It felt great. It just felt great to be back on the on the game on the game board. You know what I mean? And and to be away for so long, it just felt good to be back with the team. Thank you, Maria. Here comes team captain Maria um, Blasuch. Let's, let's talk to some of the shrimps. Go ahead, Matt. Captain Blasuch, how you feeling? We're all feeling a little blue over here. How are you doing? I feel as orange as a basketball, Matt. I feel like we dribbled all day, all night, all season, and we're just happy that we were out there. We were able to bring the ball down the court and see the players as they, they're truly meant to be seen. Now, do you ever feel like you're just talking in sports platitudes, that there's no real heart or soul behind the words you're saying? Yeah, well, we, uh, we, we, we try to go out there and do the best we can. We, we're not really... Uh, you know, uh, we're, we're playing for ourselves out there, and, and, and whoever wins comes out the winner. But next season, it's going to be it's gonna be uh, gold, 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 baby. That well, sounds a lot like what Matt was just describing. Absolutely, and, and we'll see you on the court. Great. Okay, well, it's a great season. Do you think you're going to come back even stronger next season? Absolutely. We're going to train hard, work hard, and uh, we're going to have a little fun. What, what kind of fun are you going to have? Uh, dribbling, um, shooting, uh, picking, up, picking up rebounds and, 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 and all that jazz. All that jazz. Well, we've seen some jazz tonight. That's Captain Maria Blasucci. Thanks for your time, Maria. Oh, here comes uh, Maria Blasucci. Team captain. Team captain, check in, taking the pulse of the team, the temperature of the game. Wow, it was crazy out there tonight, you guys. I don't know if you saw it. We watched no, we, the game. I, yep. I didn't. I was reading a Thomas Finchin novel. Well, man, it was crazy out there. We were dribbling. We were passing. We were shooting hoops all day long. It was All tough. Day. It was tough out there. I'm going to tell you that right now that it was the toughest game we've played. That's Tally Levy Crouch on the other bullhorn. What's up? What's up? It's her birthday almost. <laughs> almost. <laughs> and what do you think is going to be the prognosis for next week's game? Who do you face off against? Uh, whoever the basketball gods tell us to, you know what I mean? Uh, we're just going to keep our eyes open, keep our eyes on the baskets, and, and, and run with it. Thanks, guys. Well, you can't ask for more than that in basketball, in life, in God's Christian church. And if you do ask for more than that, you're a glutton who needs therapy. The captain, Maria Blasucci, is in the house. Maria, what are your thoughts on tonight's gameplay? Have some Sour Patch Kids. Take a handful. Uh, wow. That felt good out there. You know, we lost... Of course, the scoreboard tells no lies, you know, scoreboard tells right. no lies. But uh, I feel like a million bucks. You look like a million bucks, too. Thank you. Uh, that's I'm a little green. I haven't worked out that hard quite a while. How demanding is it to play the entire game? I'll, I'll tell you what, Mark, it's it's not, uh, it, it, it doesn't feel it doesn't feel right. Uh, but we put, worked our hardest out there. We dribbled the ball down the court. The wood, the wood was gliding. The, the nets were smoothing, and we were flying. What yes. do you think about these custom-made pistol shrimp scarves oh that people sent to us, Gibson sent to wow. us? There's another one in there, too. Isn't yeah. it long? Yeah, I'll tell you what, though. You know, it looks like someone took the needle, went in the holes, came out and, and, and did the best they could. And, and next time, I'm, I'm sure they'll, you know, take whatever comes to them and, and do their best. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Maria. That's Maria, Maria. Blasucci, the team captain for the Pistol Shrimps. And without Maria Blasucci, again, none of this would have happened. She's sporting a Capri Sun. What do you got? Pacific Cooler, uh, Tropical Meltdown, Hawaiian Get Her Go guy. This is Fruit Punch, Matt. Fruit Punch. Fruit Punch, Matt. Went straight down the middle. One, I one appreciate it. One of the simplest it. Capri Suns available. It's unpredictable in its predictableness. Yeah, it's sweet, it's sour, it's got a fun punch to it, and I'm going to keep drinking it and, and, and make sure uh, I make the most most out of what's coming up. Even Maria. away from the game, Maria's full of just sports platitudes that don't really mean a whole lot. That's right. Maria, m much of this, um, the whole impetus, the whole beginning, the origins, the roots of the Pistol Shrimps finds itself in the very fertile ground of your imagination. You made a lot of this happen. How do you feel about coming this far here at the top, the Acme, the Zenith, the apex of the rainbow that is Pistol Shrimps? I think people, if they have a dream, they take the dream and they take it to the, the top of the line. You know what I mean? <laughs> Do you, are, you, are you essentially saying you got to just get out there and play the game? I'm saying if you don't have a ball, make a ball. 
Get out on the court. If you don't have a court, make a court. And if you don't have a team, make a team. Basically what I'm saying is, let's do it. It reminds me of the old Lord Byron quote. If you don't have a ball, make a call. Visit the hall where the ball is y'all. And it turns out, you all are the ball. And this is Crystal Shrimps Radio. My name is Matt Gorley. And I'm Mark McConville. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you at the end of the game. Okay? We'll see you on the red carpet. It's not a game, Maria. Last I checked, we're uh, on the red carpet. There will not be a basketball game on this edition of Pistol no, Shrimps Radio. To my knowledge, there will not be a basketball game. We'll move you through here. What do you do now? Do you talk to... Oh, oh. oh we got the team captain, oh, Maria oh. Blasucci, heading on over here. Blasucci, big win for the Shrimps. Big win, big time. Uh, out there, it was pretty crazy. Uh, they were coming at us with the ball, uh, with their shoes shuffling, and their, and their bodies moving. Maria, have you played in... I haven't seen a more physical game. Have you experienced more physicality from an opponent ever in your life? Well, I'll tell you this. They came out, they played the hardest, and so did we. And, and next time, you know, around, we'll... We'll hopefully do the same thing. Okay, thanks, guys. Maria, thanks for your time. Team Maria. Captain Maria Blasucci. If you enjoy this podcast, you might enjoy an interview with Maria Blasucci, Team Captain Maria, without speaking in any sports cliches None. or platitudes We've noticed at this. All. It's really we'd been love a problem. To hear what so you we'd love to hear game. your thoughts. Uh, well, I thought it was a real brain buster out there. Uh, okay. We went out there, we got on the wood, we had our shoes squeaking, our, our, our balls dribbling, and, and we did the best we could. It was a good team. Uh, we're going to come back next time we see them, and, and we're going to go double hard. You heard it there. That's Maria Blasucci. We it, got That felt like platitudes to me. I, look, there's nothing I can do about it. I've warned her against it, and you're going to be revoked. You're going to get a technical foul for podcasting. Well, um, you know, next time I come over here, I just hope that you guys give me another chance, another shot, and hopefully we'll do better next time. Thanks, guys. Okay, that it's even in the tone of her geez, voice. Yeah. Here comes Team Captain Maria Blasucci. Team Captain Maria, how do you feel about tonight's game? Wow, it was crazy out there. Uh, everyone played their hardest. Okay, sure. so far so good. Uh, that sounded like real honest conversation. Absolutely. You know, we Wait. were out there and we took the ball. Okay. Dribbled it down the court. Well, uh, now, we've been practicing, you know, practice makes perfect, and it just goes to show, you know, the better team's going to win. If I could cut you off, Maria, you've just now sort of gone right back into that sort of yeah, and full stream ahead. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, and next time we'll see him on the court, and we'll we'll have a we'll, – we'll, we'll be more prepared. But, you know, I think it got to our heads a little bit. Okay, see, uh, uh, what, what got into your heads? The game. Uh, the, okay. The game got to our heads. We were trying our hardest, but – you know, when you get out there, the girls, the girls with the fire are gonna are gonna trail the blaze. That didn't make any sense. And thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks, guys, and I'll I'll, I'll see you uh, next week. Did right. you want to talk about your the the May 21st? It's you and me 93. May 21st, you me 93. It's gonna be a dance for the ages. Get out there, dance. You know, put your best shoes on, put your best, you know, everything yeah. you want to do. Right. And uh, we're gonna have a raffle. So uh, it's worth it. Okay, bye, guys. Thanks so much. That's going to put a cap on the season here, but we're not going to put a cap on the podcast because here comes Maria Blasucci, the team captain. Maria! Hey, Mark. How's it going? How are you? I'm doing great. You know, I've been dribbling for the past hour, and, and you know, I feel uh, really great. Well, I don't mean to correct you or anything, Maria, but it did seem like there were times where you were not dribbling because you didn't have the ball. Yeah, well, you know, I did my best out there. I did what I could. Uh, I took the ball, put it in the basket one time. Sometimes yep. I didn't. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's just a bunch of girls out there trying their best. And try you did. You won the big big win to close out the season. This is the last game of the season. Am I correct about absolutely, this? Absolutely, absolutely. And next, and next season, we're going we're gonna to come back and we're going to, you know, we're going to play better than we've ever played. You know, it, it takes practice, hard work, and uh, it's all about the fans, you know. Strong showing tonight from the Shrimps. Did you do anything different in practice this week that got you ready for this big rivalry against the Princess Layups? Uh, well, to be honest, we didn't uh, practice, but... Well, that was apparent, obviously. All right, uh, thanks so much, you guys. Team uh, Captain Maria Blasucci, thank you. And uh, 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 be good to yourselves. <laughs> we will. Team Captain Maria Blasucci going off for the big team photo here. Team Captain Maria Blasucci. Maria, how do you feel about your golf game? I know you're a mad baller on the court, but here we're on the links. Yeah. Uh, well, little balls are where my forte is. Uh, little little hard balls. Uh, so I feel like I'm going to do pretty well. 
Maria, how are you feeling about your uh, victory? I feel great. You know, I went out there. I hit the ball in the hole. I took the putter, and I just I, I did what felt right. And next time, hopefully, I'll, you know, do a little better. You know what I think we can do is we can talk to team captain Maria Blasucci who will elucidate the meanings behind a tournament victory. This means you go on to next week. How are you feeling? Sorry. Matt, how are you feeling? I swallowed a bug, but a Volkswagen bug. Uh, yeah, I mean, we went out there and we played the game. And uh, it turns out that, you know, we just s scored a couple points more than the other team. And, and next week we'll be back and, and we'll have our shoes on. We'll have our balls dribbling and we'll, you know, have our shorts on. Maria, yeah. I have to ask, uh, you had a long time off from basketball here. How does the rest affect the team? Uh, the rest is, you know, great. You know, our coaches are just out there doing the best they can, and we're out there doing the best we can. And, and hopefully next time, you know, we'll, we'll bring as much heart as we, as we did today. And, you know, it's just about the fans. Now, Maria, we are also taking a, a week off from Pistol Shrimp Summer Masters Miniature Golf Tournament. And as the standings go right now, you and Melissa Stetton are the top scorers. Without spoiling where it's going to go, how do you think your chances are for the rest of the tournament? I think everyone's out there playing the best game they can, and, and okay. we're just, you know, so, trying to do our best out there. Yeah, and, you the know, best. whoever whoever's the winner is going to win. And, and you know what? It's just about the game at the end of the day. So thanks so much, guys. I, I really appreciate it. Okay. Well, okay. we'll get nothing but platitudes, and that's the way we like it. And it's the Maria. best, and we like to win, and it's the best. Well, you can also hear it straight from the horse's mouth. The captain, that is, Maria Blasucci, over to the table to give us some of her trademark platitudes. Maria, how do you think gameplay went tonight? Oh, I just, it was hard out there. Uh, I haven't worked that hard since, you know, the last series, and, and it was a tough game. Maria, can you specifically tell me how you're feeling emotionally about tonight? Specifically. I'm feeling really good about the work we put uh, out on the court. Could you, in really casual, just street talk, like you would talk to your friends, tell us, you're you out for drinks with your friends, okay? How, yeah. Let's set the scene. How you think you guys did with your specific plays that you had planned for the and evening. And these are old college friends. Yeah, and using the names of the plays, using the team names, the people on the team, everything like that. Well, I think all the plays we did out there, whether it be the offensive plays, defensive plays, um, you know, we were doing our best out there. And, you know, as in college, you know, out here it's the same thing. And it's just working, working your butt off. And, you know, I, I hope that everyone else can, can do the same. Now, how do you feel about the Hillary post-convention bounce? Do you think your campaign is going to be affected in any way? You're down in the polls. What do you see your prospects for the 2016 presidential campaign? I'm just going to keep going out on the court every day and um, doing the best I can. Thanks so much, guys. Thank you. Mar Team Captain Maria Blasucci, number 16 for the Pistol Shrimps. No, we're not going to lock it up yet. No? Because we've got someone we need to call. She wasn't here tonight, but it uh, doesn't really matter. She'd still like to comment on some of the action of tonight's game. Wh are you talking about Team Captain Maria Blasucci? None other. I'm also talking about how my speaker on my iPhone is for shit, and we're not going to be able to hear any of it. Well, that's great. I can't wait for this segment. Hello. Maria, how did you feel about the team gameplay for this evening? I thought both teams played really great. I mean, everyone went out there and just did their best. And, you know, we lose time, we win some. But at the end of the day, it's just getting out there, throwing the ball around and, and, and making, making people smile. It's crazy because your sports platitudes are such that this could just be pre-recorded. People don't know if this is live. Do you think... Yeah. You played a good game or a bad game tonight? Absolutely, Matt. I think that both teams did great, and you know, no matter what, uh, a win is in, is in the books in the future. And uh, uh, how do you feel about the outcome? Uh, the, the outcome. It's not about the outcome. It's about the, the the journey. All right, guys. Thanks so much. All right. I hope your tummy feels better. <laughs> Thank you. Well, that's Team Captain Maria Blasucci weighing in fairly accurately. But first, we're going to hear from Team Captain Maria Blasucci. Matt, I'll Give let it. you interview her because you're on fire. Take temperature of the game. Now, Maria, tonight especially, we'd love to go in-depth and talk about how you feel you did, how you think you're going to do next week, and I want to hear it in your own original terms. I think we did great, Matt. What? And um, I'm just glad to be here. <laughs> what? 
What? Ask a question of Maria. Sure. Hi, Maria. I'm guest commentator. Hi. Were you worried at all when you were not in the lead? Not at all. Not at all. You guys look really nice tonight. What's wrong with you? You guys are... You, you look nice. You're doing a great job. I've never told you guys that. What have you done with Team Captain Maria Blasucci? Wow, and you got snacks here, too, and yeah. gum? I got a Carl Sagan record. That's so cool, Matt. What? I don't trust you. So, what are you guys doing after the game? <laughs> We're going to go shoot Matt. We're going to Lawson's Ice Cream Store. That sounds great. I'll come. Oh. Well, guys, I got to go. But I love talking to you guys. I'll see you guys next week, okay? Uh, okay, thanks. All right. Bye. Bye, James. Bye. Wait, now that... Bye, Mark. There bye, was Matt. still uh, the same what amount the of fuck falseness. Was that? But it's now time to check in with Captain Maria Blasucci. Hell of a game. In fact, you scored at the end. If it was all or nothing, you would have won. Uh, absolutely, Matt. We went out there and played uh, the game of our lives. You know, we didn't have any of our tall players out there tonight, but Paisley Gray, uh, she really brought it. She brought it harder than anyone else out there. Well, I was going it alone tonight, and I fought through it, and I just want to say that I really got out there on the mic. I did what I thought needed to be done. I said what I thought needed to be said, and I think we're all winners if we just do what we think is right. Absolutely, Matt. And if you just keep going out there, then, you know, a win's going to come your way. That's right. If you don't stare into the wind, you're not going to get a breeze. Absolutely. You can't reach the stars if you don't shoot for the moon. Thanks so much, Matt. You're welcome. You can't ride the choo-choo if you don't have legs to get on the train. <laughs> I suppose you can after the American Disabilities Act. Oh, here comes Captain Blasucci. Captain Blasucci was going to talk to us right now you're welcome. Nice about to see basketball. You. Hey guys, how's it going? How'd it go out there? I didn't watch a lot of the game. Oh well, we were down by a lot, but uh, we came back and we just showed the perseverance and getting out there, running with the ball, showing some some good vibes can really get people in the mood. What what vibes did you show that got? What mood? Basketball, uh, Matt, is something that's really dear, near and dear to my heart, and this is just something that uh, I feel really special about. And being out there with all the girls playing it is just something really cool. Hey Maria, today's my birthday. What do you think of that? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear mom. Happy birthday to you. When did Peebo Bryson and Michelle and Deggy and Cello get in here? Thanks so much, you guys. Bye. Listen. Yee. Speaking of dynamic range, here come some words from team captain Maria Blasucci. Maria, how'd it go tonight? We were fighting the whole time. It went really well. Uh, we did really good out there. <laughs> and, um, uh, Maria, can I stop you? You're crunching your water bottle as you speak. No, we did, um, we did really well out there, and, and we want to go back and um, do better next time. Didn't catch a word. Did you did what was the final score of the game? The final score of the game was uh, <laughs> twenty one to fourteen. You, you are crunching a water bottle <laughs> while you talk like that. The, uh, but you're not doing it absolutely. while you're not talking. <laughs> yeah, if you could, why don't you crunch it while you're not talking and then talk while you're not crushing the water bottle? Sound good? Absolutely, Mark. <laughs> And uh, next week we'll come back and we'll be doing better than ever. Thanks so much, guys. All right. Team Captain Maria Blasucci, who, uh, I don't know, she has some sort of ner new nervous Hi, tick Robin. on her hands. We have another guest stepping in here. You might know her as the Captain Blasucci. That was some serious gameplay out there today. Yeah, it was. How do you feel? Um, I feel good. I feel a little winded. Yeah, you are working hard. I was working hard for the first time in about seven days. And, um, yeah, it's really, I was in there for a good five minutes, and it feels like I ran a marathon. This is also the first time we've ever had a sincere conversation on this podcast. Yeah, I guess you're right, because um, it's mid-time, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not in my game state of the post-game game state. The minute we hear the final buzzer. It'll change. Okay, that's exciting. Hey, Captain Blasucci. Uh, hey, Captain, how do you think that game went? 
Uh, absolutely, Matt. I think we went out there, we played our hardest, and, you know, uh, next time we're going to come out, we're going to give half what we gave, uh, but it's going to be the same, baby. All right. Well, I didn't ask you a yes or no question, but you answered with absolutely. All right, Matt. Well, th thanks so much, and, 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 and keep it real. Thanks. Okay, well. Here she comes. Maria, why don't you come on over here? Uh, Pistol Shrimps are back. The season has begun, and you've started off with a V, a victory. Talk about what happened out there on the court. Well, Mark, uh, it was a crazy game out there. We uh, started off just with our heads in the game, and, you know, it paid off in the end. Big victory here, 32. Yeah, I would say player of the game, Molly Hockey. Big scores, big defense, just all-around great play from hockey. Absolutely, Mark. I think everyone went out there and did their best. Uh, you know, we haven't been playing in a, in a couple months, and we just had to get on the court and do our best. You know, we got a lot of people counting on us. And, um, you know, we did it for the fans. We did it. For the for the love of the game, and we, and we did it because we have to we have to bring that that W home to to the to the Shrimp Palace. Yeah. So uh, now we had some off time. Hold on, Mark. You're just gonna let her get away with this? Can I can I finish? Molly had some time off here. I was talking Molly. This is Maria. Maria. Absolutely. <laughs> You've had a few months off here. What you what do you like to do with the new year? Did you have any sort of New Year's resolutions? Did you have any? It's been since December that we've talked to you, I believe. So, what have you done over the last few months to just uh, sort of thanks so much, pass you guys. the I gotta time? Go, uh, uh, Coach is calling, but thanks so much, guys. Oh, Mark, you softballed her like Hannity to Trump. All right, Matt, we oh, need to interview Captain Blasucci here. That way, you can't eat any of these Rice Krispie treats. Oh my God, those look so good. Don't. <laughs> oh. Sorry about that, guys. They were just going to take a picture. Uh, to answer your question, that is a French Bulldog. What, did you make those Rice Krispie treats? Um, my boyfriend Craig did, and uh, he's a great guy. Uh, we've been dating for about three years, and, you know, uh, we just go for the gold every day. We don't, you know, try to do anything. We're not, you know, uh, we try to be our best selves for it, and at the end of the day, we're just doing the best we can. Wait, you guys have really been together three years? Absolutely, Matt. Yeah, uh, we've, uh, let's see, we met in about 2014, and since then, just kind of going for it, uh, not taking... What does going for it mean? Just running with the ball, you know, deciding to, to go for the gold and, and getting there one way or another. But how does that translate to a concrete meaning, go for the gold? Does that mean, like, marriage, or what are we talking about here? Absolutely, Matt. Uh, you know, one day, hopefully, you know, we'll get to that point, but right now we're just playing the game as best we what can. What does playing the game mean? Going for it. What does uh, going for it mean? Absolutely, Matt. What does right. absolutely mean? Thanks so much, you guys. Uh, would you like a Rice Krispie treat? I'll have one, yeah. Oh, you dick wash. And the place that you'd have to travel is, is Captain Blasucci's damn town. Hi, guys. How's it going? Hell of a game, Maria. Absolutely, Mark. It was uh, it was crazy out there. Let's address the elephant in the room. The coach was yelling at you. There was some action at the other end of the court, and you were at the wrong end of the court. What was going on in your head there? Yeah, take your head was break. out of the game. Uh, well, sometimes, you know, uh, you see the game in a different way. I saw the game as coming back to this end. Uh, the other players saw it at the other end. And, uh, you know, I at the end of the day, my head was in the game, but uh, my body was, was, in, it was, it not, was not. But now, technically, that wasn't the end of the day because you were still in the game. So, like, that was during the day that so, was so during why I say at the end of the day yeah that part is perplexing well mark at the end of the day uh you know uh it's 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 all in the game okay well i don't accept that i'm actually putting my foot down all right J john but i uh i, I don't know what to tell you I nice. can't let you do this anymore. Nice. Your eyes are kind of rolling in the back of your head. Speaking of back of the head. At the end of the day, it's not whether you're at the right end of the court or the wrong end of the court. It's whether you're in the game, and I was absolutely in the game. And it was a but big game. during the game, not at the end of the day, you weren't in the game. Absolutely, Tim. But I was in the, in the front of the game for the rest of the game in the all day. Okay, that's just double speak. Amanda. Absolutely. We've got a pistol shrimp here. It's Team Captain Maria Blasucci. Captain, rough one tonight. That's a, uh, I don't even know. How do you feel? I feel great, Mark. We played our best out there. We only had five players. From the time the referee said go, we just went, went, went. We didn't stop. You know, if I had to do it all over again, I'd do it the same way. Um, and that's the story. 
Now, my wife is filling in for Matt tonight, and uh, I just want to ask her, did you notice how Maria sort of speaks in platitudes? I think Maria did a great job. Oh, I think she did a great job, too. Do you have any questions for Maria, maybe about the game or the wedding or both? Maria, how was your weekend? How was your weekend? Oh, absolutely. Uh, well, the weekend was great. Uh, I went to a wedding, um, walked down the aisle. Uh, you know, Matt and Amanda did their best at their vows, and, you know, they came out as winners. And, you know, next time around, you know, I hope we'll, we'll do the same. Next time. Do you think they're going to get married again? You know, uh, the way they played, it's the, it's, you know, I, I can only assume that, that they're going to come back twofold and just... And, and go for it. Thanks so much, guys. Well, wait, because they don't get married. Most people don't get married twice. <laughs> Maria Blasucci, everyone, team captain. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. It's time for some captain and the Blasucci here. Now, uh, victory there on the field. Now, what do you have to say to that, Captain Blasucci? Well, I'll tell you what. That was a tough team to play. We knew going in that they were going to be tough. And uh, they lived up to the uh, the hype, that's for sure. We went out there, though, and we played our best. We used our feet, we used our hands, and at the end of the game, uh, we just came out ahead. But I have to say, you did come out ahead, but it was a little touch and go there for a while. You uh, almost didn't win there yeah, at the end. Yeah, absolutely, Matt. There was, oh, wait, uh, hold on. Okay. <laughs> Captain Blasuch went away temporarily, but she's returned. Yeah, as I was saying, Matt, uh, we went out there and, and, and we played our best and uh, just took a little courage, strength, and hope. Now, look, I don't mean to cross genres here, but it looks like tomorrow you and Amanda Lunn are guest hosting the I Was There 2 podcast. Do you have any words you want to say in promotion of that event? Absolutely, Matt. Uh, when we went in there, we just did our best. We tried our hardest, and at, at the end of the day, we just hope people uh, uh, enjoy it. Wow, that sounds episode-specific. You're looking really tan, Matt. I got to go. Thanks so much, guys. Okay, bye. <laughs> Maria, you're you're uh, you're a, you got a big win tonight. So talk to us here. How do you feel, season closer? Well, Mark, uh, this season was a tough one. We came out there, you know, from game one, and and we saw the obstacles in front of us. We worked on what we saw we needed to work on, and and at the end of the at the end of the day, you know, we just came out victorious. Whether we win or lose, we're winners, and uh, you know, even when we do lose. You know, we're not losers. Maria, I have, a desert, I have a different question to ask you. It's not related to sports. Let's say you have an old friend who wants to draw on your forehead. Mm-hmm. And you think it's stupid. Mm-hmm. Would you let your friend draw on your forehead? It depends, Mark. I yeah, mean... It does depend. Listen, sometimes you don't choose the game. The game chooses you. That's right, Matt. Sometimes you choose the game. No, you don't get to use this my microphone. And uh, uh-huh. when the opportunity presents itself, like tonight in the game, you know, yep, yep. you have an opportunity for someone to hit a three. You Absolutely. Assist, so, you Absolutely, know what I'd say? I'd Maria. Say open up that canvas and 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 let someone uh, dribble down the down the court. Thanks so much, guys. Okay, thank you, Maria, for that very unclear interview. Captain Blasucci here. Uh, Captain, how do you think the uh, game went tonight? Well, obviously, it was a tough one out there. Uh, we did our best. Um, <clears throat> you know, when the going got tough, the tough got going, and we didn't go hard enough, of course, but we played our all. And you know, Maria, let me stop you there because me I just, think yeah, in the past on. you've basically just resorted to platitudes in your post-game recaps. I'm wondering if you could give us something from the heart, something with a little, you know, genuine feeling. Absolutely, Matt. Uh, well, it feels great to be out on the field again. It feels great to be with the team. See, I don't feel like you have your heart in that. That's just something you'd say just because you heard that that's the way sports people talk. Absolutely, Matt. I definitely, you know, uh, out there I put my heart on the court. and. Uh, but not in this mer- speech. Absolutely. You know, it, uh, it takes a lot to, to get out there and, and, and do everything. Um, you know, being the captain of the team, there's a lot, you know, to, to do. But... At the end of the day, it's just uh, it's Maria. Mm-hmm. May I cut you off here? This was an awful loss for the shrimps. Mm-hmm. Sixty-three mm-hmm. to ten. You got to be feeling that. You've, that can't feel great. Well, next time we're going to come out here and we're going to we're going to put one hundred and ten percent more on. You know. Uh, okay. So there is no next time. The tournament's over. This is it. Sudden the death. tournament is over. You know, uh, there's always a way to regain the, the honor. You know, and and uh, all I'm all I'm saying is next time we're going to go out there. We're going to do 
110 percent all right thanks so much guys here comes Maria Blasucci. Maria, we've had some technical difficulties. Post-game wrap-down. We might need to give you a post-game yeah. wrap-down before your post-game wrap-down. So the, we don't know if this really recorded. I don't know if this mic works. We're having a great time. We ran out of uh, memory yeah, on this, this thing like reset. The game. So talk to us. How did the pistol strips feel tonight? But do it in this mic because this is the one we hear. Yeah, we know. Well, God, uh, now the game didn't seem so bad. Uh, well, we went out there. We did our best. Oh, they're taking the team picture like we care. Just kidding. Um, and we got crucified out there. You know, you say crucified, but I got to say, I observed that you guys held the lead for a majority of the game. Is this a real sort of last second letdown? It's a last second letdown, especially since I called timeout five seconds left in the game and they didn't hear me. That, that's a real bummer right there. You guys fought valiantly and just couldn't come away with it today. Is there anything you could do differently as a team? Uh, I guess next time just win. It's a great strategy, you know, uh, and I hope, hope you don't get a deaf ref. That's, that's very good. All right, thanks so much, guys. All right, thank thanks, you, Maria, Maria Blasucci. Matt, there's no way in hell Maria's coming Where's over here. Where's Maria? She's with dogs. These people brought dogs. <laughs> Maria! How's Maria, that so we how's got that some song, business. How's that song go? Maria! How's the song go from West Side Story? Maria, dear I kindly just want Sergeant to Maria. Talk to Maria, Maria. <laughs> this is unbelievable. We made it happen. Hey, look in the gear closet. There's a big sack of like Chuck E. Cheese balls. Oh, I'm real hungry. Have a cookie. You think they're pepperoni or vegetarian? <laughs> no, not pizzas. I thought you said Chuck E. Cheese balls. <laughs> Maria, we have some business that we need to attend to. Matt, let her have it. Well, first of all, how did you think that game went? Wow, that was a real whirlwind of a game. Uh, we came out there, we did our best, we took the ball, we dribbled it as hard as we could, as fast as we could, and at the end of the day, we made it work. Now look, I got a question for you. It looked like Coach Wenger, towards the end of the game, called a strategic timeout to try to kind of get you guys focused keep this victory in hand but you were on your phone putting up Instagram stories what kind of captain doesn't lead in the face of adversity absolutely you know we got a lot of fans out there that want to watch the game you know head on face to face TV to eye you know and I was just <laughs> I was giving them the goods and you know my, my support came internally vocally and externally now it's hard not to think that that was just a rote answer given like a politician who doesn't mean it there's no sincerity behind it I'm starting to feel like this is getting a little ridiculous well Matt that's your opinion and at the end of the day you know it's just me being me okay all right here ladies comes and gentlemen Cap team captain Maria Blasucci Hey, Matt. Hey, Mark. How's it going? Pretty good. How are you doing? How are you feeling? Well, it was a tough one out there. You know, we didn't have Jesse Thomas to be our point guard. So the other girls had to step up to the plate, do some dribbling, do some passing. Yeah, we saw that. I yeah. mean, you're not covering any new information with that. Well, Matt, yeah, it was it was, it was was pretty rough out there. Listen, we just had Walt Hickey from 538.com on. They provide statistics for politics, sports, and that sort of thing. He said that this is by far the most losingest gym the Pistol Shrimps play in. Like, you, you guys lose the most here. North Weddington, 80% wins. Wow, Matt, that is blowing my mind, to say the least. Um, yeah, I, uh, wow. But you're not going to add any insight to that, huh? I think he said it all right there, Matt. You know, we go out there every time, and what... Whatever gym it's at, you know, we put it 120%, sometimes 150, sometimes 200, sometimes 250 or 300. You know, at times we've gone to 500 and at times we've gone to like 1,000. But today it was, you know, it was it was one of the above, you know? It's also nice to know that you're doing this with a purse draped over your shoulder, right? Excuse there. me, what'd you say, you Matt? Have a Sorry. Purse draped over your shoulder. Oh, yeah, this is my purse. Um, just put things in it credit cards, money. I got a license in there, and um, from time to time, there may be a snack. All right, thanks so much, guys. I appreciate it. But Captain Blasucci's here. I'm sure she'll give us a thoughtful and sober analysis of what happened out of there on the court. Maria, how are you? Uh, wow. Um, I'm still reeling for him. <clears throat> I'm still reeling from that uh, the, the game. I, I mean, it was unlike anything I'd ever been a part of. It was unlike anything you'd ever been a part of. Absolutely. I feel like you've played a lot of these games, mm -hmm. and they're 
they're all basketball games. Absolutely, Mark. But this one just had an energy to it, you know. Can you I, describe that energy, please? Uh, electric. Um, I don't know. Uh, there was a lot of teamwork happening out there. And, sure. You know, I know every week we go out there, we're a team. We dribble the ball down the court. We look for the hoop. We look for the the shot for the pass. But today was just a little a little different. You didn't really describe how it was different other than just using the word electric, which is not a fantastic adjective in this it just felt case. um it felt like what we've been working on really came came out today and and you know it just hard work it pays off you know hey when mark was uh, asking that last clarification i noticed you started laughing you kind of pulled your head away from the mic i've just never seen an example of emotion like that from you what was going on there absolutely matt well I, you know the game really put me in a in a headspace that made me think about you know the team the sport and uh-huh. you know it's been a while since i really got my head in the game like this anyway thanks so much guys i really appreciate it well we appreciate you maria team captain maria blasucci of the pistol shrimps Maria Blasucci's here. Maria, Maria big you guys win. played a big game. You got out there. You really did it. I think that you uh, you set your priorities and you just played some games. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, Matt. You know, we went out there. We did the best we could. You know, at the end of the day, we're a team, and it comes back down to teamwork. You know, no matter what time, what, what place. You know, it's October right now, October 24th, you know, and we just got together and you know we we made it happen absolutely maria and you know what if you can't beat them join them and i think that's why it's important to get in there stir up some action and maybe make some things Mm -hmm. yeah uh we absolutely talk about that you know on and off the court and it's uh it's a good thing to just pass around you know with the ball with the minds you know our our feet are going our our minds are working and 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 at the end of the day it's you know what the game's all about maria uh, absolutely Game one of the World Series happened at Dodger Stadium not too far from here against uh, it's a Houston Astros against the Los Angeles Dodgers. We don't know the outcome of that game at this point, but what do you think the post-game interview might sound like? Just maybe do an impression for me of what you think the post-game interview might sound like after the World Series. All right. Thanks so much, guys. Okay. Well. I mean, that's how rude. I know. I don't even know what to say. First, let's check in with Captain Blasucci here oh to see boy. how she think tonight's basketball game went. Blasucci, Captain, how'd it go? Well, Matt, uh, you know, it started out pretty great, and, you know, it kept going great throughout the whole game. You know, we did our your, our best out there. We came out, you know, not ahead, but, you know, in our hearts and our minds, we came out just, just as we wanted. Maria, it seemed like we started with a basketball game and ended up with a semantic battle with a man wearing stripes. Absolutely, Mark. You know, the game is, is, is about the ball. It's about the dribbling. It's about the taking it down the court. It's about the basket. You know, uh, you know, a, a lot of people don't get, give enough credit to, you know, the net, the hoop. And uh, we go out there every time. We do the best we can. Well, what happened out there? Because it looked like one of your players actually got admonished for having a bit too much of a mouth. Yeah, you know, the game's the game, and, you know, we've been playing for a long time, and at the end of the day, it's, uh, it's, it, it's, 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 um. Are you, are you, are you okay? full Manafort are you okay? right now? Oh, my God, I'm worried. <laughs> All right, thanks so much, guys. <laughs> Team Captain Maria Blasucci, of course, checking in with us after the game, as she often does, and giving us virtually no information. So, Final uh, score here from Lake Street Gym, 35-31. Team Captain Maria Blasucci has joined us at the broadcast table. Maria, it's the last game of the season, and you have your phone with you today. Uh, what's that all about? Yeah, like this is the last game of the season, and you didn't pull off a victory. What are you, you going to take home? What are your lessons learned? Well, Matt, well, Mark, it was a pretty good season. You know, we went out there day one. We put our heart on the on the court. Day two, we kept our heart on the court. Three and four, we left all of it out on the court, and then from and we kept the heart on the court the whole time. You know, the the um, thing with this game is that you dribble the ball, you 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 take the basket, you take the ball, you put it in the basket. And at the end of the day, it's it's just what you do. Maria, it did sound to me for a second there that you were just sort of reciting uh, your diary. Like day one was this. Day, have you been keeping a log? all season long of what happens on each day of the season. Yeah, absolutely, Mark. You know, we go out there and, and we uh, we take it as it comes. You know, this was a tough team out there, but we knew going in that this was going to be uh, a challenge, and we took the challenge, and hopefully uh, uh, 
next season we'll go out there and, and, and we'll give it all we got. It just sounds like you're talking, what team did you play tonight? You know, uh, it's a team that's been with us since the beginning. You know, we got a lot of friends on the team and a lot of people that, you know, play play as hard as we do. And, you know, no no team's better. It's just who, who leaves their heart out on the court. All right, thanks so much, guys. Okay, yeah, thanks, Maria. Team captain Maria Blasucci stopping over at Christmas Corner. Maria, talk about your uh, victory tonight with your T-shirt here. Uh, absolutely, Mark. You know, uh, it was... Christmas fun for all out there. You know, we went around. There were some steals. There were some openers. Uh, I ended up getting, you know, something that I saw out of the corner of my eye and, and, and said, you know what, maybe maybe that's my thing. Maria, walk us through your original gift. You opened up something or you stole something. It's hard to keep track of all of that over here. Absolutely, Mark. Yeah, I opened up um, a, a mug uh, with uh, our coach's face on it, Coach Chris. Uh, it was something really thoughtful, something really cool that um, – uh, ben Gray, uh, spouse of one of our players, had made, um, and it, it was just really cool, really thoughtful, and, and, and it, it really made me think about how, how lucky I am. Did it get stolen from you? How did it, you're, you didn't end up with it, which is part of the game, right? That's just part of how this works. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. No, uh... <laughs> why, why, you seem to be laughing or breaking character or something. Uh, you know, Patrick had had uh, gotten this um, this T-shirt, and I, I looked at him, and he said, "This T-shirt doesn't fit." And I said, "Well, why don't you take this mug?" And you know, it was just it was friends helping friends out. Now, look, as we wrap up this season, it's a it's a night of kith and kin and friendship and family. Why not just let down the guard and talk like a real human being, and maybe have some kind of emotion like an actual person might display? Okay, Matt. Now, yeah. let's get down to yeah. the business of basketball. Team captain Maria Blasucci joins us here at the broadcast table. Maria, big win for the team. Tell us about and what happened Maria, out on the court. We want and it listen to Matt and from the heart this time, all right? Absolutely, Matt. Well, I just wanted to say happy birthday to Melissa's mom. You know, uh, coming from a fellow pistol trim, um, she played hard today. And, and, and as a mom, uh, I think you go out there every day. You're you not a mom. Uh, Melissa's mom. Uh -huh. oh. uh, sorry about that, Matt. Uh, Melissa's mom goes out there every day. You know, she, she dribbles the ball. She takes down the court. And, you know, Melissa's winning the game because of it. So, uh, big shout out to you. Hey, what can you tell us about your new players, Vup450 and Randall Tex Cub? Uh, they're just a really good asset to the team, Matt. You know, we've been together for a couple years now. And bringing new players onto the field really really gets us going, really gets our, our shoes sneaking and, and, and tweaking. And, uh we're just happy to be here. Wow. Uh, Maria, if I could, give me three factors that helped the Pistol Shrimps win tonight. Just three things that the team did to win tonight's game. Yeah, and if you can deliver them in platitudes with as much soullessness as possible. I'd say hustle. <laughs> I'd say determination. And um, hustle again, because that's what we did out there. All right, thanks so much, guys. All right, well, there you have it, Captain Maria Blasucci on this, the opening game of the 1922 season opener. Matt, talk to us about how you think the game went tonight. Mark, I think it's great. Everybody just got out there, and they really did what they had to do. There was a lot of movement on the field, a lot of spirit, and people were really into the game. Matt, you seem to be talking in platitudes. Who, me? No, Mark. I don't know anything about that, but what I do know is hustle, grit, determination, blood, sweat, toil, and tears. And, and to uh, illuminate that further, I'd like to introduce you to Captain Blasucci. Well, I've met her before. Oh, okay, great. Team well, Captain she's just Maria great... Blasucci has stepped over. Big win for the Pistol Shrimps tonight. Maria, how you feeling? Uh, wow, Mark. Uh, did you see the game? No. 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 It was crazy out there. We went out. It was zero to zero, and before long, we were getting points left and right. Um, <laughs> I'm at a loss. But you won the game. Are you overwhelmed with emotion or something like that? Absolutely, Mark. You know, we went out there with the same drive we always go out there with. We went out there with spunk. We went out there with... You stopped talking. Did you go out there with Roger? We went out there with Roger. We went out there with Bill. With Roger? We went out there with Roger, we went out there with Dodger, we went out there with Lodger, and we went out there with Roger Lodge. Her. Roger Lodge? The host of Blind Date? Absolutely, Mark. Did you know he had a sports radio show after that? And he has, I believe he has a career in sports broadcasting. Absolutely, you know. Absolutely what? You knew that? Or absolutely you're a fan of Roger Lodge? You just said absolutely with no context. 
I'm going to be honest with you, Mark. I don't feel too well. <laughs> what's wrong? You're yeah, what's sick? wrong? Are you twist an ankle? What happened out there? You don't look good. Are you okay? How are things at home? I don't know. You don't know how things are at home. What's wrong? I came here and I, uh, I need a ride home. Okay. All right. We can do that. I mean, we will keep you safe, but we're worried about you now. Yeah. Hey, thanks so much, guys. All right. Oh, gosh. Wait, okay. where's well, she going? She uh, doesn't she need a ride? Whoa, There's look Captain who Monsieur. it is. Oh, she's like strolling up like a like she's had some beach time, just relaxed and kind of. Are you coming straight from the beach, Captain Blasucci? You been eating edibles? Absolutely, Matt. You know, <laughs> today was a game that will go down in history. Now, what's this? <laughs> That's a, anybody it's want fudge. a corner of fudge? You, just, you better get get a corner of it before someone else fudge? does. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Matt just dove right in ten seconds. Into You're supposed to it. freeze it. Okay? Get in there, have yeah, some fudge. I think he's going to be sick. Oh, thanks. Honestly, Maria, that's from last week, and you probably don't want it. Jesse just said we look tan and nice. Is that it? Whoa, Whoa <laughs> Maria! <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank, thanks so much. We got her to not be a robot. Oh, go ahead and be a robot for a while. Today's game was a spellbinding experience. It was like a witch had had granted us three wishes, and we'd come. An evil witch. An evil witch. Now we're talking. I can. And uh, we came out there like the three amigos. Uh, Thanks so much, guys. Be well. (laughs) Half-hearted interview from Captain Maria Blasucci. Let's hear it. Maria, big win for the shrimps tonight, and uh, go ahead and uh, just uh, let us know how you feel. Speak from the heart. Absolutely, Mark. Out there was, I, I, I don't want to go there, but I'm going to go there. It was epic. Uh, we went out there, and we, um, we brought our, our A game. You know, uh, we've been playing for a lot of years now, and, and this was one of the best. Maria, are you religious? Absolutely, Matt. You know, uh, you know, I believe in spirituality more than one one specific deity. One specific deity. Yep. Maria, I'm gonna just ask you point blank here: Are you not aware that that isn't Matt Gorley sitting next to me? It's our special guest, Paul F. Tompkins. No, as I said though, Mark, we went out there and it was epic. You know, we're a team out there. You know, when it comes down to it, we're just players that, that are playing the game and at the end of the day we're a family Maria how does the intro to your podcast go alright thanks so much guys <laughs> that's team captain Maria Blasucci <laughs> team captain Maria Blasucci comes on over hell of a victory today Maria talk about uh, give, me, give me three elements to your victory today well Mark uh, intensity that's one passion yep dribble you know we we never stop not for a moment you know i'm gonna be honest you know i wasn't having the best time out there i was turning over the ball a lot you know i did make a bucket but that was toward the beginning of the game so a bucket of pine cones hey maria it's time to take a photo all right thanks so much guys okay we'll (laughs) we'll see you when you come back from the photo maybe or not at all probably not Maria, I'm, one I've been more saying, word. Yeah, since uh, you know, you used to come over and write a lot with Amanda, and since you haven't been, it's like we ha- our kid went to college. It feels empty. The house we're empty nesters. Yeah, you know, <laughs> it's crazy. You know, it's like being traded. You know, when you go. No, from- this is a tender, real human moment I'm trying to have with you. Why? Why are you talking like a sports person? Like I was saying, Matt, in the <sighs> in the game. Have some in the get- game. Uh, Which game? <laughs> are you talking about basketball or are you talking about the game of life? Uh, get in there, you guys. Enjoy some. I don't of that. know, Mark. Oh, we've cracked her. She's broken. I think what I'm trying to say is, is out on out on the court. Okay, she's back. Yeah, not exactly. Here's the thing, basketball. Okay. Oh, oh no, she's she's folding in on herself. Oh no, we've broken her. I dribble. I dribbled. <laughs> oh no. I dribbled. Do you have a heart? Help. Help. <laughs> We've stumbled into an episode of Westworld here on Pistol Shrimps Radio. Help. Help. Oh Help. no. Help. Oh no, she's Help. broken. Reboot her. But as I was saying. Oh god, she's back. Out on the court. 
it doesn't matter if you're there or you're not there. Your heart's always there. No, it does matter. Uh, is this brownie brittle? All right, we got Maria coming up right now. Okay. Hi, Maria. Maria. There she is. Um, Let's... We are going to give you this so you can hear them. How was that game tonight, Maria? Captain? We're in Washington D.C. interviewing you live via satellite. How are you doing tonight? How was the game? Is this? <laughs> Hello. This is Matt and Mark. Pistol Shrimps Radio. Pistol Shrimps Radio. Pistol Shrimps Radio. Okay. Okay. Here, Maria's back. Okay. Oh, she is, huh? How was the game tonight, Captain Blasucci? Uh, in a word, it was uh, inspiring. You know, we went out there and uh, we took the ball, we made a couple baskets, and then uh, we you know, at the end of the day, it just it was teamwork. <laughs> Maria, any thoughts on the NBA championship? That's the table no, is set. No. Cleveland Cavaliers against Golden State Warriors for the fourth time. What do you think of that? Uh, I think you know, uh, bas- you know, basketball is what guys want. You know, uh, at the end of the day, they're just playing the game, and you know, and they're both getting the last game. They both have people. They both have uh, people that aren't leaders on the team. They're going to go out there. And, I heard 10% of that. Yeah, so but it sounded very sincere. It did. It sounded very sincere, like you've sort of broken that sort of bad habit of just... It was just, really coherent. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good. And like I, like I said before, you know, it's just, it's just a game. All right, thanks so much, guys, and enjoy the Washington Monument, all right? Thanks. <laughs> Captain, Captain Blasucci, how are you feeling? Wow. Um, that was a hell of a game out there, Matt. Um, Don't you have any emotion? Come on, you were so close and then you lost it. Give me some humanity. Kevin Costner, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's a magazine called Cowboys and Indians. When you think of a cowboy and or an Indian, who do you think of? You know, Mark, uh, nowadays when we say Indian, I think you mean Native American. And when you see, say cowboy, I think you mean Kevin Costner. You know, at the end of the day, Costner's going out there. Dances with Wolves, uh, uh, Last Last of the Mohicans was also a movie around that time. Wasn't no, he's him. not in that. It wasn't him. Daniel Day-Lewis. But, you know, every time Costner goes out there, he brings his A game, you know, and, and that's what we did. You know, at the end of the day, we're a team, and uh, the other team is a team, too. So, you know, whoever wins. Oh, they're taking a picture without me. <laughs> Maria Blasucci, our team captain. Captain Blasucci, we're just announcing this is a final season of Pistol Shrimps Radio. Uh, Can we finally get some emotion from you? Yeah, I mean, um, it was a, it was a, it was a crazy game out there today. Jesus uh, we, Christ! We played against Space Glam, they're a team we played before, but you know what? They came back, kind of with a vengeance. You know, we didn't have some of our our good ball handlers. So we really. This is it, Marie. This is the last. In, in 2019, when you look over to this table at North Weddington Gymnasium, you'll just see a bunch of broken crayons and something that a kid tried to color but left here. Doesn't that do anything for you? Yeah, I mean, you know, when it, when one road ends, another road opens, you know. Um, uh, you know, it doesn't. Uh, hold on one second. She's gone. She's going to go cry. She's got to go get her picture oh, she taken. she doesn't care. Look, the point is, we may pop in for games in the future. We've got some plans for some other stuff. And whether that's a bit more pistol shrimps or something new down the road, we, we like to keep ourselves fresh, reinvent ourselves. And, you know, anyone that knows me knows I can't stick to something like for too saying, long. You know, when one door opens, another road opens. That's not what you said. You said when one road closes, another road opens. Absolutely. And with all the construction going on, you know, it's no wonder that... What construction? Just, you know, dribbling the ball down the court. You know, you guys have your mics. That's I have not my ball. construction. Like a dump truck or like a, like a bobcat? Absolutely, Mark. You know, no, he what asked I, you a question. We don't, we've got one season to get her to connect with us. When you go down the line. The, what got, line? What line? Cars. Cars, drop. what? The movie or the objects? There's no business. Like show business? 
It takes one to know. Talk to me like a human. I need you. With every cloud. Nope, that's not even a saying. With every job that must be done, there is an element of fun. <laughs> you find the fun and snap. The job's a game, and that's what we were doing out there today. You guys, okay? Thanks so much. Is that from Cold Stone Creamery? Oh. oh. Look. <sighs> these platitudes and these attitudes. Yeah. Unbelievable. That's right. <sighs> oh, here comes uh, Captain Blasucci Maria. Hi, guys. Oh, hey, Captain Maria Blasucci. How yeah. was the game tonight? Big win. First win of the season. Yeah. We... It was a nice game game to play, and it's great to see you. Really good to see you, Maria. How have you been? I've been really, really pretty well. I mean, I've been kind of struggling with some things, but just in in, in feeling like I want to be honest with you in my communication. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I feel like, you know, maybe after the game we could chat about some of your, uh, you know, the, the things that are sort of blocking you or the, the ways that you're not getting what you need out of life, and maybe we can figure this stuff out together. I would love that. I would love to finally learn how to communicate and not speak in platitudes and just be a, a genuine human being. Matt, do you have any questions for Maria? Yeah. Um, how do you think the game went tonight? Absolutely, Matt. I think they got out there and they did their job. Wait a minute. Maria, Matt just asked you. Run. A I'm taking a picture. Okay, Maria Blasucci, oh. team captain. Hi, Captain Maria. How's it going, Matt? I'm pretty good. That's great. Is this you or Captain Maria? This is Captain Maria. Hey, I want to tell you guys something. You know, every day we go out there and we bring the ball onto the court, and I look over here, I see you guys doing your thing, and I just want you to know that you're winning at your game, too. Hey, thanks, and, and you guys won your game. Do you want to lick O-Rice? Uh, no, thanks, Matt. I'm, I'm trying to quit. <laughs> <laughs> and and how do you feel about the gameplay? Oh, yeah, Paisley, get in there, get a lick of rice. Yeah. Uh, the game was great. Oh, um, I'll be... Uh, uh, actually, no, no, no. Uh, uh, they, they told me they don't need you for the photo. All right, thanks so much. <laughs> Maria, come back. Maria. 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 Maria, question for, for Maria. Maria, can I just get a, qu a quick, quick picture? Quick quote. Can we get a quick quote, Maria? Maria Blasucci, team captain, big win for the Shrimps tonight. Talk about the victory tonight. Absolutely, Mark. You know, we went out there, you know... A lot of us uh, weren't feeling great. You know, you can see me holding this sinus uh, pressure medication, and we went out there, you know, and, 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 we, and we did our best. Uh, Maria, you see my wife's got some natural sore throat spray and some, some so birds of a feather here. You know, like I said, like we went out there, and, and even though we were sick out there, you know, we did our best, and, and that's all you could ask for. Your best was tremendous. That's a 41 to 20 victory tonight. Yeah. Talk about three factors for the team. And what those three factors meant for those points. How would you get all those points on the board is really what I'm trying to say. Well, Mark, you know, every day we go out there, we do our best, you know, okay. whether it's on the court, off the court. Is that number one? When it came to today, you know, it was about uh, just hustling, okay, teamwork. That's, that's two. And, uh, you know. Uh, so it's hustling and teamwork are one and two, or was the first thing you said one, and then that's two and three? And, and, and good vibes. All right, thanks so much, guys. Team Captain Maria Blasucci. We'll see you next week. Maria Blasucci, Team Captain. Big win for the Pistol Shrimps against your longtime rival, the Lucille Ballers. How are you feeling about the game tonight? Oh, well, Mark, that was quite a doozy out there. You know, uh, we went out there, and, you know, it's Tuesday night, you know. We know. Every other day of the week, you know, we go out there, we do our best. Every you don't, day? You don't. You just do Tuesday nights. Tuesday nights are the only times you have games. Just like any other day. And you know, we No, it's not like any other day. You don't play basketball Monday You guys or practice. Sunday. Absolutely, Matt. And, you know, at the end of the day, it's all about teamwork. The end of which day? And, uh, you know, I thought, I thought we really brought it. Well, I agree. What, what did you bring? Yeah, what did you bring? Yeah, that's a good question, Matt. Uh, Thank you. We brought it. Uh, what like, did you bring? Like cookies up here. Thanks so much, guys. Team Captain Maria Blasucci with her post-game commentary for the Pistol Shrimps win. Oh, it's Captain Blasucci. And all of that work, all that emotion, all that sentiment is about to be undone by this, a hollow feast of platitudes from Captain Blasucci. Absolutely, Matt. You know... We went out there, you know, we were short a couple players at the beginning of the game. We came out there really going as fast as we could, as hard as we could. And for a while there, we couldn't quite catch up. But, you know, at the end, it just proved hard work pays off. No, it's more than that. 
you can't you can't describe it that way. What about the feeling you're feeling? You know, basketball is all about taking the ball down the court. It's about finding the rim. It's about uh, finding the net, and it's about <clears throat> scoring the points that you're looking for. You know, at the end of the day, you know they they were as equal a team as we were, and it was just a, a real fair fight. Whoa, uh, Maria, we almost lost our recording equipment there. Maria, if I could just ask you, how talk about the team emotion with a just a, a powerful last second victory here. You know, the game's ups and downs. You know, that's, that's what you prepare oh God. for. And, and uh, you know, the last couple seconds of that game was, yeah. was nothing short of of miraculous. You know, as, okay. as players on a team, we, yep. we, we stay together, we stick together, and, and we let it all uh, uh, play out on the court. All right, thanks so much, guys. <laughs> well, look at this, Oh, folks. boy, the last chance, the last opportunity in the history of Pistol Shrimps Radio for Captain Maria Blasucci to have a human, real, touching moment. How did you feel the shrimps played tonight? Well, Matt, we went out there. <laughs> and we were, you know, our, our hearts out there, you know. Uh-uh. This was a game that, you know, we came prepared for. but I do know. At the end of the day, you know, it's all about perseverance. You know, we can put in the work. We can put in the time. But at the end of the day, it's all about what you do out on the court. Matt has unplugged Maria's microphone, so she's going to come over here to me. Maria, you're wearing some new uh, clothes, this shirt. You didn't have this on earlier. Talk about that. Yeah, I mean, what we did out there was we worked hard in, 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 in retrospect. Um, <laughs> we got what we deserved, and that's uh, the championship. That's the championship gold. Uh, I just want to say, you know, I know it's your last day. But no one can hear you, Maria. I unplugged your mic again. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day... Thanks so much, guys.